I spent 30 days using a digital bullet journal and today I'm going to share with you the pros and cons to using a digital bullet journal versus a regular notebook bullet journal. Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here and my channel is all about taking you along on my creative journey with me. In April, I found out I wasn't really using my bullet journal as much as I wanted to and I just felt like maybe that notebook style wasn't working for me. So I've always wanted to try digital bullet journaling. So for May, I decided to take my iPad Pro and set up a digital bullet journal. I did end up making my own notebook as well because I just wanted it to be catered exactly to my style and what I wanted. So I made that in Keynote. And then I utilized Procreate and the GoodNotes app to put everything together. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually really fun to use Procreate and just kind of explore a new medium of being creative. That's also part of the reason why I did switch to digital bullet journaling was so that I could get more into digital art. Digital art is something that I want to pursue more, so it's definitely helped me get there a little bit. Anyways, let's talk about my experience over the last 30 days using my digital bullet journal and diving deeper into those pros and cons. First, we're going to start off with the pros. <laughs> One thing that I loved about the digital bullet journal was less bulk. I didn't really get to experience taking my digital bullet journal everywhere with me since I've kind of been on a stay at home order the last two and a half months. That I didn't quite get to experience. but. Moving around my house, going outside with my kids, it's been so much easier to just have my iPad and the Apple Pencil. It's so much thinner than my standard notebook. I will say it's maybe a little bit like taller and wider, but um, thickness wise, it's much thinner and just so much easier to carry around instead of a pencil case as well, because all I have is my one pencil. This is also very eco-friendly. I'm not using a lot of paper and if I don't like something instead of trying to like rip something out or cross it off and waste paper, I can just erase it or undo on the digital bullet journal. So that is definitely a nice feature. Another thing I really like is the fact that I can use my digital bullet journal for my personal and work needs. I've always been back and forth on whether I want to use my bullet journal for work and personal or to separate the two and ultimately I'm kind of at a point where I like to have them together and just kind of writing down my tasks that I need to do for work that way things don't get too cluttered in my bullet journal but I have everything in one place now with a digital bullet journal I can easily do this and have the different tabs and navigate in between things really easily and I definitely liked that I also get to improve my digital art I have used my iPad so much over the last month compared to how much I've used it over the last about probably five months. So I'm really happy that I took the dive and just started using it and, and trying this out. So that's definitely been a huge pro. Another big thing for me is just regular journaling and memory journaling as well. I like to keep just kind of this thought journal, writing down my thoughts in the morning, midday, at night. And I don't like to keep that in my personal bullet journal because I take my bullet journal everywhere with me. And so like, if I ever were to lose that, you know, my thoughts would be out there. Whereas with my iPad, I can have a totally separate tab to keep all of my journaling. And I really liked that. I, it encouraged me to journal more because I was using my iPad more. So I definitely saw a huge benefit in that. And I'm also really excited because I want to get more into memory journaling. And I think that's really easy because I can easily transfer pictures from my iPhone to my iPad and then include that inside of the digital journal. Last thing I want to add to the pros is that an iPad has added security compared to a regular notebook. I don't know about you, but my notebook does not just have a locking feature on it. And if you leave it behind or lose it somewhere, anyone could open that up and look into your thoughts or whatever you have in there. Generally, my bullet journal is a little bit more on the safe side with that kind of stuff, but there's still some personal information in there that I probably wouldn't want everybody just having access to. So with the iPad, you have to be able to unlock it first in order to access my journal. So if you don't know the lock code, you aren't getting in. Now let's talk about the cons. Every time I move away from a bound notebook, 
I just have this desire to go back to using the regular notebook with a pen and paper. There's just something about it. I know that there's some research out there on how that works with the brain and yeah, I definitely think that that does make a huge difference. Even though I am still physically writing things on my iPad, it's still just not quite the same as like flipping paper. Maybe that's what it is, is flipping the paper. I did end up doing a disc bound bullet journal for a few months as well, but I still went back to that bound notebook style because it was nice to be able to like pull things out of rings and then place them wherever I needed to, but I don't know, it just did not feel right to me. I really just wanted to have my bound notebook. Always go back to it. Another con is additional screen time. I think this is one I've seen of a lot of people who do digital bullet journaling or digital journaling in general, and it just adds to your screen time. So I do think that that can be a negative piece to it as well as just that additional screen time. So yeah, that's not so great. An iPad is a form of technology and we all know that technology likes to fail us sometimes. So you know, there's also that. but. I would like to add that I have seen so many other people post on bullet journal groups saying like, I spilled coffee on my bullet journal or I lost it or I spilled water. So, you know, I, I think there's pros and cons to both of that um, on both sides there. I think my pros list is a little bit bigger than my con list, but I have been thinking about it a lot lately and I definitely think that I'm going to end up going back to a notebook. I wanted to try so hard to like the digital bullet journal, but I just feel like I can still use my digital journal for my memory journaling and my thought journaling, but keep my digital bullet journal, my planning and all of that in a regular notebook. So I was really excited because I created my June setup in a notebook as well as in my digital bullet journal. So. I was well prepared for June to have both options available to me and I'm going to be switching back to using my notebook for June. So I'm sorry if anyone fell in love with my digital bullet journaling. It was definitely a nice thing to try. Maybe I'll go back to it again for another month to give it a try again, but for now we're going to stick with that notebook. But stay tuned because I probably will be sharing some videos on here as well with my memory journaling. It's going to be kind of this form of like digital scrapbooking memory journaling. I don't even know, but I'm really excited for it and I think it's going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for some videos on that. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my video today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.